Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and focus. There we are. Today we're gonna to be doing the reviewing the Emerson CQC 4K. It has a three and a quarter inch blade. Overall has a length of 7.35 inches. Made out of 8CR 14 MOV, spear point blade style, hollow grind, black, G10, clean edge. Um, well, you have black we have a like a stone wash, black stone wash on the blade on this one. Um Made in China, designed by Ernest Emerson. Um, carrying style is left to right hand tip up. Um, so lefties, it's good for you guys. Um, stainless steel frame lock. Uh, manual way of opening is this thumb disc or the Emerson Wave feature, which catches on the pocket of your jeans as you're opening it. Um, it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, this is the CQC 4K, meaning that it's the Kershaw collaboration. So this is the about a little over $20 version made in China. So let's compare it to let's do our size comparisons. Let's get our standard US quarter here. Tactical lip balm, juicy guava. Unsharpened number two pencil. There we are. Unsharpened number two pencil. A little trouble getting that one open. Uh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> it is a Kershaw Shuffle. Man, I'm having trouble today. Uh, CRKT, CRKT Squid. Mini Cut Jack, 3 inch version, D2 Steel. Spider Code Tenacious, which is about the same size, but I think I have one thing that's a tad bit bigger. Baron Sons 4.1 inch Balasong. Uh, I'd say it's bigger. Surprisingly, not that much bigger in the handle. Okay, now, uh, basically, my overall thoughts on this knife is that it's pretty good overall it fits comfortably in the pocket a decent amount of the knife sticks out let me see grab my handy handy piece of paper here a little bit more than that so about like that much of the knife sticks out of your pocket which is a decent amount but gives you a firm purchase on the blade when you're pulling it out of your pocket which is good a um, little heavy with the stainless steel actually it's not too too bad 4.1 ounce but a little heavy with the stainless steel liner I mean stainless steel frame lock um, my other thoughts on this knife is uh, thumb disc is great to open uh, Emerson Wave is great um, if you haven't tried them try them, you'll love them um, only gripe with this knife is the steel 8CR14 MOV now this steel is uh, borderline no <laughs> I usually don't pick up knives in the steel but I got this with a tactical pen and I was really into tactical pens at the time um, this steel I have not sharpened with. It hasn't gone dull on me yet, but remember, I've only carried it in my house. Oh, to haven't explained that in this recording, but I've only carried it in my house because blade length of three inches is my state limit. So I carried it in my house, done very small cutting tasks with it in a controlled environment. It's not like I was out there and it's like, let me just hack down half a tree with this thing. No, I haven't sharpened it yet, so I don't know how it sharpens. And... It stayed sharp on me for doing basic opening envelopes, cutting up boxes, which is great. I like that. Now, uh, I think that it's a little sharp on the liner getting closed, which is okay with me, I guess. But other than that, overall, like it. G10's nice. I like the knife. Um, for 25 bucks, I would recommend saving up five more bucks and getting a mini cut jack and d2 steel better steel only break with this is the frn handles but you can watch my review on that um yeah so overall uh for the average person it's a decent knife if you can if you need like a longer blade it's a good knife yep um you might be sharpening it a little bit more than normal but okay uh so see you guys in the next video